I'm exhausted, like as I as I speak now. So tomorrow will be a day I'm in here in the cold tub. You guys hadn't been making free throws, and yet you stepped up and made those two at the end. What were you thinking about? Yeah. I was just thinking about practice. After every practice, me shooting my ten free throws in a row. So I just, you know, imagine no one was there and just shot them. Was the play for you? Last play, I guess, it was call specifically. It was because they, um, everybody on the team was, told me after the game we knew you were going to hit the free throws, and you know I, I like the confidence that they had me, and um, you know that builds my trust with them more. And what does that mean? Like, what are you thinking as coaches going from last night this morning? I mean, um, it's just you know I have to step up and just just collect yourself and go make the play. Does that make you feel good that you're? I guess obviously the go-to guy down the stretch. Uh, it does because um, knowing that Milt fouled out and he's he's pretty much one of the best shooters on the team. I know I was gonna have to step up and do something big. You scored seven points late in the first half too to sort of help y'all get a cushion there, and that turned out to be the difference in the game. What were y'all doing well at that point? Uh, we were just um, getting our transition going and rebounding the ball much better. What does it say about this team to pull out a hard-fought win with both Milt and Devin not scoring in double figures tonight? Having some other guys pick up the slack. Um, I mean, it, show, it shows how. How, you know how much better the other guys are getting, you know, because you know in the beginning we probably weren't the best at doing that. So you know it just shows how how mature we're getting. Are you comfortable with taking on more of a scoring load? Like it seems like you've been doing as the season's gone on. I, I am. I'm very comfortable. With it. How was your legs uh, going up to that shoot those free throws? How you know that's the hardest thing to do when you're that tired to shoot free throws. Oh, uh, just just concentrating, just just being able to you know mentally knock them in. And you know, bending my bending my legs, that, that was really important too. And it hurt, but you know, I did what, what I had to do for the team. Talking about this four games in nine days, first two games losses, how big is it to come back now and get two wins at the end of this? Oh, uh, it's it's confidence building because um, you know, we struggled the first two games, a tough loss to Florida State, but you know, things like that happen. So we just bounced back and moved on to the next two games. Bernard had some big points for y'all today with uh, you know, real foul trouble and book obviously not feeling his best. How big was Bernard? Bernard was he was a big factor in the game, you know, and um, yesterday me and Bernard talked about, you know, playing time and I told him he was gonna get his chance and today he got his chance and he showed up. Talk about taking this conference.